and bang! What is up our Will Field number one fans and viewers? Scott Casey Gale here and today I'm going to give you my recap and review of Star Trek Picard Season 1, Episode 7, entitled Nepenthe. It was directed by Doug Aaron Nikoski and I gotta say, I thought it was an awesome episode. I'm really enjoying Star Trek Picard as the episodes go on and on. Okay, let's begin the recap, shall we? With his captain and ship stuck inside the powerful pool of the cube, Picard and Soji make their getaway to Nepenthe, a pastoral planet, planet that's home to a couple of Picard's oldest and dearest friends. There, there the uneasy Chatham companions meet up with Deanna Choi and Will Wecker, as well as their younger, uh, as well as their young daughter, who greets them by aiming an arrow straight at Picard. That said, things don't get really tense until the young girl's curiosity about the visitors lead lead to a revelation about, about who and what Soji is. is. Commander Data, Data says Picard is Soji's father, which means that Soji is sympathetic, which, while also having been very human, see, see mucus, saliva, and all those other attractive human bodily functions. Having been through, through quite a bit, like escaping the murder at, a, at the hands of her boyfriend and dealing with the news that her sister is dead, Soji can be forgiven for not immediately placing her trust in the hands of Jean-Luc Picard. She, she can't even be sure and he's anything more than a simulation, even though his friends seem really nice and also there's non replicated pizza. While Picard tries to shout, shout her into trusting him, Deanna steps in, in to encourage him and to take a more gentile, gentle approach. It's true that the every minute Picard and Soji spend on the, pen, the penalty puts his friends at risk, but Soji clearly needs time. Back in La Serena, Agnes Girardi is having a complete breakdown, and we know why. The, the, the Wafi and Wheels remain completely in the dark to the degree that, that the Wheels suspects Wafi has made some kind of deal with whoever it is that, that's, that's trading them on their way to reunite with Picard. But a flashback back to two weeks ago reveals more details about the interaction Agnes had with a Starfleet Commodore. During the meeting with the Vulcan in Oguana, Dr. Jawadi is subjected to a mind guard that showed her what would happen to Earth and humanity if, if, if Sims like Soji were allowed to exist. What she, what she sees is horrifying, but is, but is it convincing? The Vulcan Commodore asks Agnes to swallow a tracker, which is, now, which is how Narek is keeping up, up his pursuit of La Serena so seamlessly until Agnes administers, administers a, a a, a neurotoxin on herself and slips into a coma. Dr. Jawadi is a complicated woman. Back in the Penthe, Picard is finally on, on some measure of trust in Soji, and the two decide to leave together before the before the pursuers track them to an idyllic, pla idyllic, idyllic planet. The big question is, what's their next move? And I would give this episode um five stars, two thumbs up, and a ten out of ten. I really enjoyed this episode. I was also shocked to see the death of Hill. I mean, but then again, in a way, I kind of expected that Hill, that the Hillborg was going to get killed off. I mean, I guess Jonathan Delco, I guess Jonathan Delco completed his um episode arc because he was really good in the in the in the war, the war of Hill. But you know, sometimes, sometimes it is what it is. Anyway, um, make comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you thought about this episode. What do you think is going to happen in the, in the three remaining episodes? You stay classy, live long, and prosper. And peace out.